welcome back I think this is going to be the last video on OCaml lists and in this video we're going to cover sorting in general and how to sort lists uh, uh, or sort list uh, elements in OCaml let's go to the um, OCaml system to our OCaml list module and here we have function sort what it does it sorts a list in increasing order according to a comparison function the comparison function must return zero if its arguments compare as equal a positive integer if the first is greater and a negative integer if the first is smaller uh, don't worry about this array dot sort we have a function called compare in OCaml from module pervasives uh, it's a it's usually a suitable comparison function the resulting list is sorted in increasing order list to sort is guaranteed to run in constant heaps da 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 da. okay so let's have a look at the compare function first let's go to our top level remember whatever you do here you can do it in your, in your source code oh come on we have a function called compare if we pass it two integers for example it returns minus one if the first integer is less than the second it returns zero if the two integers are the same it returns plus one if the first is larger than the second and we can use it um, uh, I think it's polymorphic so we can use it even with with uh, floating point numbers with strings with characters so a and a for example and Z basically Z is indeed larger than a because they're ASCII codes for the ASCII code the one for the Z is larger than the one for the character a and then for strings as well uh, string 1 string 2 and OCaml is saying that string 1 is less than uh, string 2 so compare is polymorphic compares values it returns 0 if they are, uh, if they are um, the same if they're equal returns minus one if the first is smaller returns plus one if the first is larger now we can use that in our um, um, comparison for sorting so let's have a small list for example let uh, ml equals let's say four five seven two three nine zero three and whatever you can do here for the integers you should be able to do it for the floats now let's have a second look at the explanation basically we need to provide a function for comparison so what we can do is we can say list dot sort and the function that we can, we're going to use is compare because compare receives two arguments so there's no need for us to uh, use an anonymous function although we can do that pass it ml and it returns a sorted list as you can see here now even if the list was for example a list of floats, a list of integers. Let's have for example uh, a list of characters. Let's say for example let character list or something CL equals this list here as you can see GBF da 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 and then we can say list dot sort of course we can say let for example sorted character list SCL equals list dot sort and then compare and then we pass it CL and it should be compared as you can see here now uh, we can change our uh, com uh, 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 comparison function by having maybe um, by having our own function maybe you can use um, an anonymous function okay one thing here is that this function sorts things ascendingly from the smaller to the larger what if we want it to be uh, in descending order i.e. from the larger to the smaller then what we can do is we can have our own function and this is how we do it let for example ll equals list dot sort what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my own sort function fun x and y because I compare two elements x and y and I can say now instead of comparing x and y I compare y and x and this should give me the, the, the list in descending order as you can see here GF, GFCBA I hope that makes sense I used my own comparison function now even though I, I actually instead of saying compare I can even say for example if uh, 
if y is larger than x then return 1 else return 0 that's how compare compare works as we saw here returns my uh, uh, plus 1 minus 1 or 0 plus 1 if the, big, the, the, the first is larger so what I can say here is if x is larger than y then return 1 else return 0 and then pass it my cl and as you can see now I've over I've used my own comparison function and the result is exactly the same in descending order <coughs> um, what else do we have here so we have sort stable sort other just other ways of sorting and then merge we said before we can merge two lists but the lists need to be of the same uh, type so here for example we have LL which is a list of chars and we have CL which is a list of chars so then we can just merge them by saying maybe let M which is the merge list ML maybe merge list equals list dot merge and then uh, uh, LL and CL and it will merge the two list and give me one list why is it complaining the expression has type char list but expression has type da -da 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 -da. Um, let's have a second look at a list of merge merges two lists assuming L1 and L2 are sorted according to the comparison function merge CMP L1 and L2 will, c will return a list a sorted list containing all the elements of L1 and L2 okay yeah okay basically it actually compares the elements of L1 and L2 and returns a new function so what we need to do here is pass it a comparison function compare and then LL and CL and as you can see now it merged the two functions so it's comparing the uh, first element of the f LL to the first element of CL, second element of LL to the second element of CL and so on and so forth. Thank you very much indeed for watching. That's lists in general. Uh, we may have missed uh, a function or two but I think I don't think they're too important. I think we've covered all the important ones. If not, I trust that you are very familiar now with OCaml coding, with lists uh, th uh, and therefore you can go back and read on your own and learn how to use these functions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.